Only on Denver 7, an Aurora family claims Donald Trump is using their late mother as a political pawn, and they want him to stop. Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen is live at Trump's campaign office. Jacqueline's family was shocked to hear him say her name. Trump's campaign used Deborah Sarecki as an example of someone killed by what he called an illegal immigrant here in Colorado. But her family says they want nothing to do with Trump's campaign or its political message. We lost the leader of our family, the person that held us all together. Eight years after his mother's death, Ricky Stott says Donald Trump has reopened old wounds. My mom's not political propaganda. People were directly affected by this. During Donald Trump's campaign speech in Greeley Sunday, he was giving examples of crimes committed by people here illegally. Patricia Gunthorpe and Deborah Sarecki, along with a small toddler, were killed by an illegal immigrant who had been arrested 16 times. It was a case that shook Aurora. In 2008, three innocent people killed after Francis Hernandez slammed into them at a Baskin Robbins. He was in the country illegally from Guatemala. In his speech, Trump said he's talked to families of those killed by illegal immigrants. I've gotten very friendly with a lot of them. They're unbelievable. In the most cases, parents. But Deborah Sarecki's family says Trump's campaign never talked to them, never asked about their pain. I was 18, you know, um, and I just went downhill, you know, I just lost it. For Ricky, her death changed his entire life. And while he doesn't support either presidential candidate, he says he doesn't want his tragedy used for Trump's political gain. And his mother wouldn't either. But for him just to throw it in, what? nine days before the election it's like where were you the last eight years you know i just want to tuck it away and leave it as my mom to remember you know i don't want her to be some example of a you know what's kick everybody out Trump's campaign tells me in a statement that they use this tragedy to illustrate the need to enforce immigration laws and deport criminals. But Sarecki's son says they've emailed the campaign to ask him not to use their name anymore. In Denver, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7. Thank you, Jacqueline.